Hi, this is Kari with Cheryl and Colleen. We're the Consistently Creative crew, and we are doing a project recipe tonight. We are doing the Go Fetch or the Perfect Kitty Cat project recipe by Creative Memories. And they had two different sets of paper, one that was designed with puppies in mind, and the other one was designed with kitties in mind. And as I have always had dogs, I have the one that had uh, puppies in mind. But in my sample here is not exactly the paper pack that they showed in their sample. I wanted to do one of the other sets of paper so we could take a look and see what that was like. And I did an embellishment. I didn't add these stickers to it because I really wanted to just allow you to see what this was going to look like. So with this paper pack, whether it was the Go Fetch or the Perfect Kitty, there are the two paper packs are a little bit different than the typical Creative Memories paper pack. There is a designer paper pack that has six sheets of paper in it, and there is a designer matte paper pack that has six sheets of paper in it. The designer matte paper pack is not a typical paper pack for Creative Memories. This one is actually designed with a tonal pay, uh, design on one side and the reverse side has these nice mats and then there's also like half mats on the other side so you can see this here on the one side it's like a brown tone on tone design and on the other side there are some cut aparts it's designed with four four by six mats and then there are these additional mats that are three by four and some of them have some word art. So if you don't have enough pictures or you just want to add the word art in, you can do that. They could actually be your titles. And there's also some things that could be used as journaling blocks, or you could actually just mat your photos right on any of these mats and that would work fine. You could also cut this apart and use the other side as your mats which is actually what I ended up doing here on my sample, just so you could see what it would look like. So I have selected one of the papers um, that I obviously don't have anymore, but this is the one side, the other side had all the mats. So I have all those four by sixes here. And then I have this additional word art here that says you had me at Wolf. It's a really simple and easy project recipe and part of the reason I like it is because it really only uses two pieces of paper that you have to cut. The one is the designer paper and you're only cutting it into three pieces and if you want to punch some shapes out of it you can do that. They also use a piece of cardstock, cut three piece, pieces from that, also some space for some punching. And the original design had two, well four, five and a half by three and a half, and you could make those landscape or portrait, depending on how you wanted to do this. And also one square that was three and a half by three and a half inches. It's a pretty versatile layout. I know that a lot of times when we have one of these border strips, we have, we sometimes put them on the outside uh, edges of our double page layout instead of on the inside. You could honestly do this on the top or the bottom. It really wouldn't matter. So I want to flip over to my screen just so you can see this before we get started. So this was their sample page. So you can see this and they do give us an advisor guide to give us an idea of some of the different sets of paper that you could make. So they have a couple of different suggested pairings here. I used this third pairing, the one that's all the way over on the right for the Go Fetch paper, but I did find that I could not use the blue cardstock as my other paper here because you couldn't see it when you put it against this blue striped paper. And so I ended up choosing a light gray cardstock because that actually coordinated fairly well with the stripes on this multicolored striped paper. But you needed one sheet of cardstock, two sheets of paper to use as your base, and then two sheets of paper from the matte paper pack, 
And this is some nice suggested pairings. So if you are using either of these paper packs, hopefully this will help. And we will go ahead and get started. <coughs> So I think I am going to actually use the other suggested paper pack pairing from here. So they had <laughs> these two as one of them and they had the yellow and then the, the dots as the other one. Little ball. <laughs> and they had a yellow sheet of cardstock as the other paper. And we'll see what we think of that against all of these. So they had this, and this, and then these. <laughs> okay. So our cuts are going to be really super easy. So out of the first sheet of paper, we're going to cut a two and a half inch strip. And we are going to cut two of those. So a two and a half inch strip. And you're going to cut two of those. And then from the remaining pieces, you're gonna rotate it and you're gonna trim it. So you have a 10 inch piece. And this smaller rectangle is gonna be scrap. It's like two by seven. And then this other one, seven by 10 is gonna be on one on your paper. So that's that one. I think the blue is gonna work just fine. So that was cutting your designer paper. And then your cardstock, you're going to cut this one at seven inches. And you're going to take that seven inch piece, rotate it, cut it at 10 inches. And again, the seven by 10 piece is gonna go onto your paper on your design. And then this little smaller piece, two by seven is actually gonna be scrap and you can use it to punch shapes. And the remaining piece of paper is, you're gonna trim it at four. And they did a four by six inch mat and a four by four inch mat. I don't know what my photos are gonna end up at. So I'm gonna actually just cut this at four by six and four by six. And if I wanna trim that down later on, I can. So you can choose what you wanna do. So you take that piece, cut it into two pieces that are six inches. And if you wanna trim this down into a four by four, that's fine also. And you are done cutting. I think this is the fastest, simplest, um, layout project recipe that we've had in quite a while. But the thing that I really like about it is that if you really don't have a whole lot of paper left over from a some particular paper pack, or you have a lot of mats left over from a collection, you could actually still use it with this. So the way they have this is two, um, two base papers. <laughs> And I, I cut the wrong paper, but I'm going to make it work anyways. Actually, I don't know that I can make that work. It's a scrap opportunity. It, it is. It is a new opportunity. So we're going to... I will... Pull out something else. But if you had correct, if you had selected your paper correctly, you've got one strip on the right page, one strip on the left. So you also have your colors here. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this is not going to work because this yellow on this yellow, I don't see how it would, would work this way. So I think what I would need to do. <clears throat> 
is to turn it over and do something a little different. So I'm not sure that those papers are going to fit the way they had recommended. Plus. <sighs> And then you can cut apart your mats and use those. I think that's actually how. Sorry, I'm I think the direction said one of them you're supposed to use the reverse side. Yeah, I did. I I was, but you looked at my reverse side because it's the mat. Ah, gotcha. Because gotcha. that's the one they put in the area where you would cut it, and I that's what I picked. So I think their recommendations are out of order on their sheet. Uh -huh. Gotcha. So it's an opportunity to adapt, right? There you go. <laughs> on the fly, on the recording, it's all good. But some days are like. So we're going to go with this. This was my mat. So I'm going to take that. So I'm going to use that as my. And now I think I can make it work. So if you have a map pack or a map paper pack, you can also determine how many you're going to cut. They have on their sample, they used four, four by six mats or six by four mats. And they also used a smaller four by three, one of these word arts designs on their on their layout but again it's the base of the paper that will allow you to decide what you think you want to use so I think I'm going to kind of go with this so something along those lines and that was quite a redirect from their original paper, but I think it'll still work. So again, the base layout is not too complicated or sophisticated. Put those two and a half inch strips, one on one, the right side, one on the left side. You got those seven by 10 rectangles that are here. And then you can lay your photo mats and your embellishments as you wish. And again, this one can be rotated. You can rotate it horizontally. So your stripes or so those two and a half inch strips are either going horizontally or vertically. Um, it's very versatile and you can do it whatever way is going to work best for your photos. So I think we can pause the recording and we'll come back with some finished layouts. All right, so I think we are going to go ahead and show, wrap up some of the layouts and show how they ended up. So I had to make a few adjustments to the original papers as Creative Memories had them picked out, but you can see this is what will be other set of selected papers and I ended up turning some over and rotating them, but I think it'll still be a great layout. Um, I did this one just a little bit differently because they originally had these two long strips in the center and I decided I was actually going to put them on the outside on this one. So I think it turned out really well. I really like Looks the great. fact that this layout is going to be, it's just going to be very versatile. So hopefully this is a project recipe that you can use over and over again with the basic cuts and a limited amount of papers. And I think there's a few other people who have them. Uh, Cheryl, we can show your table. Aww. Oh, that's really cute. So this is Fur Baby. And you'll notice the graphic is uh, similar to the new graphic from the new pet line that just came out. And these are from the kitty kitty stickers but it is doggy paper and you'd never know you can't tell that there has anything to do with kitty <laughs> and if you hadn't have told us no one would have a clue but no 
That's awesome. So Colleen, you had done the kitty cat, right? Did, did, yep. Okay, a little higher. Oh, oh cute. that's really cute. Okay, have... what is the tags on the top say? What are those saying? Good cat, good cat. Hashtag good cat. Good cat. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. Yeah. And it was in beige and I had beige cardstock. I thought, well, oh, we... yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. that's really so cute. It's a beige cardstock. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. Oh, and you used the punch. You used the punch that came with the whole kitty thing, right? I did. Nice. Yep. It has a heart that punches out of it. Yeah. So I used it in a kind oh, of cute. oh, great. Yeah. So you can see my, my mats are not secured because I honestly don't know what pictures I'm going to use. And I right. also like, um, like you, I put the, um, the paper on the outside, not the inside. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. I kept That's them good. on the inside yeah. on the one good. and then moved them to the outside. So, mm -hmm. all right. Anyone else have a layout that they can share with us? I have one, but it's, I'm missing a photo. Okay. Well, so this was the, um, you have to turn your video on your videos oh, off. I thought it was on. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. There so, you are. Oh, there she is. Oh, oh, cute. Oh, wait, go back. There she is. Oh, look at that ice cream. Oh, cute. That is so cute. Is that that punch? It um, is, this one is the punch. Okay, okay. These who were the stickers i'm Can sorry you zoom in a little closer on the punch lift up a little uh, punch? there we yeah. go yeah oh that looks really cute that looks and, very nice very nice this one that one's punch okay and that one's punch nice oh, oh that's great. great thank you have fun with that nice i love how that turned out that was really you punch nice. that in several pieces right put them together yeah it's got like a, a main scoop, a whipped cream, and a cherry along with the cone. Nice. Cute. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Lynn, you want to share yours? Sure, I'll share mine. Ooh. Oh, that looks nice. Very pretty. I haven't done any embellishments yet. Um Oh, nice and I didn't do the different backgrounds, but I did the different mats because of the colors in the photos. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, looks nice. Looks nice. Very nice. It looks okay, I think. Yeah, the mosque. That's beautiful. In Singapore. Wow. wow. Very cool. Oh. Thank you. Nice. And then I have, oh, Karen, do you have yours that you can hold up? Sure. Oh, pretty. Oh, nice. 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 I like the colors. I do too. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Perfect paper choices for those pictures. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. All right. And here I did mine on the digital also oh I'm cute. sure i'm oh, done cute. with the colors but <clears throat> very cute she's very sad that becca's gone so oh, <laughs> oh no getting she's very sad <laughs> i like how your hearts go uphill yeah They're well that was the straight. that's the border look i mean that it oh i can't if i put it on top but they okay, they kind of like works. arc Right. Oh, and they have a little okay. banner. Cute. So nice. they're kind of the way that I might have cut them, really, if I was actually physically cut them. Because <laughs> yeah. I can't looks... walk in a straight line. So <laughs> it looks neat because it's not all precise. Yeah. So all right. So everyone, appreciate you being here tonight. And those of you who are watching the recording. We look forward to seeing your creations and please share images in our Consistently Creative Croppers Facebook group. There is an album set up and we look forward to seeing people next week and just a sneak peek. 
It's our open Zoom, but we are also doing the This Life Simple Page Kit number eight. And this is the one that we have that's for August. So we look forward to doing this with you or just joining, having you join us for our open Zoom. So thanks so much, everyone. Awesome. Thanks, Kari. Great class. Bye.